we commit ourselves to the construction of a complete, just and lasting peace. We have triumphed in the effort to implant hope in the press of the millions of our people. We enter into a covenant that we shall build the society in which all South Africans, both black and white, will be able to walk tall without any fear in their hearts, assured of their inalienable right to human dignity, a rainbow nation at peace with itself and the world. Education. Education, you are the key to open the bright future doors of opportunity and success, offering vast visions to the thirsty mind, your worth knows no bounds. Because you are victory over poverty and mental slavery, economic failure runs from your presence. You are the hope of our future. Education. Through our education, we, we are promoting core values or shared values, if you like, which will promote you know, a respect for human rights and dignity for humanity. So education is also going to play a critical role in terms of providing the necessary skills for our young people to be part of the mainstream economy. As we are talking today, there are millions and millions of young people who are unemployed. It is because the education they got in the past is not relevant. We, we visited a school township there, part of the vestige of, of apartheid. I think apartheid may have ended, but in, indeed it is still very much alive. One of the major problems that are, that are currently facing our country, and that I believe is a threat to our, our newfound democracy, is the, the massive uh, rate of unemployment, uh, poverty, and the uh, and coupled with the, uh, the scourge of uh, HIV AIDS in our, in our communities. <laughs> Um, and I've been working with school communities over the last 12, 13 years. And um, I've also been working with a number of people uh, and organizations, uh, basically from Seattle. Uh, people who said to us, you know, they would like to, to do good and, uh, and help us address some of the problems that we're facing. And uh, some of these things are, are really the unemployment rate and, and the poverty in our communities. And um, together with the Rich Richmond Beach Congregational Church in Seattle, um, and here uh, in partnership with the um, uh, Galvin Park um, Congregational Church communities, um, and with the two schools, Battles of Secondary School and Mpunduani Primary School, uh, the church has decided uh, to um, invest some money into a feeding scheme to feed some of the kids, you know, that come to school hungry on a daily basis. We feed 100 students every day, the hunger students, so that they can learn in school. That's a good reason. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, just the other day, uh, we can report to you that uh, that particular scheme is now up and running in both schools. Committees have been set up, um, uh, accounts have been opened, um, there are really some serious checks and balances in place how to deal with this um, particular funding. And um, the schools are now making sure that the money goes towards uh, the intended uh, aim and that is to feed those kids, um, as I've said, in the two schools, 100 in Bethesdorf Secondary School and 100 at the M420 Primary School in the townships. Um, so that um, they can also um, get a piece of bread in their mouth on a daily basis. Yeah. If you were president of South Africa, if you were president, what is one thing that you would change? You'd have the power to change anything. What would one thing you would change in your country? Um, I would change the work. I would give more poor people work instead of rich people. So that the poor people can provide for the families who need the money most. Hi, I'm Roderick Piffer, principal of Bethel's Up Comprehensive, more popularly known as BD. Uh, we have grade 8 through to grade 12. That's roughly children from the ages of 12 to about 19. 
I've been principal since 1994, so I'm celebrating the 10 years of freedom with the rest of the country as principal. Uh, Bethel Sop, secondary school it was called then, uh, started in July 1971 and was part of the forced removal of people from South End to what is now known as the Northern Areas. South End was an area of mainly coloured people and the apartheid regime of then uh, had forcibly removed all people from the city centre areas to the outskirts of the city. And this was the start of the school. Yes, Bethel Zorp was a very progressive school in the years of the struggle, uh, not favoured by the regime of the time. That's why we have no sports fields. We lacked facilities because we would not toe the line of the uh, government of the day. One of those incidents would be where the then principal, Mr. Raymond Huron, admitted a black pupil when it was against legislation for black pupils to be admitted in a colored school. He was then directed by the then leader of the colored people, Alan Hendrickson, to withdraw the pupil, and he refused. And that's, he himself was detained without trial in his term as principal. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Out, 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 black, 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 black. Out of the night, out of the night, black, 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 black. One, two, three. Out of the night that covers me. Black is a pit from pole to pole. I thank the God that may be for my unconquerable soul. Even if thou grant your circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my aid is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade. Yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. Out of the night, out of the night, out of the night that covers me. Out of the night, out of the night. Out of the night that covers me, out of the night, out of the night, out of the night that covers me, out of the night, out of the night, out of the night that covers me. It may not how straight the gate, how the punishment was thrown. I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. It be the 